And that is a Minnesota Shore Lunch. Good morning guys, so it is day two here on Lake of the Woods here at Ballard's Resort in northern Minnesota. Yesterday, which was last week's video, we caught some of the biggest walleyes we have ever caught in this lake. It was awesome, but this morning it's really hot. I mean, it's probably already 90 degrees out here. I've never seen it this hot up here, but today we're heading back out on the lake. We're gonna slay some more walleyes, and I'm gonna show you guys how an authentic Minnesota shore lunch is made. Fish on! I think he's a luncher. Doesn't seem very big. He's not thumping his head. Oh yeah, nice little sauger. Look at that, that's a luncher. All right, Josh, what do you got? You know. Ah, dude. Are you, are, you, uh, are you embarrassed by that? I mean, no more than I'm embarrassed by anything else I do. <laughs> <laughs> you're, all hey. nice. you're all nice, Josh. Some are just bigger. Than yeah, right. It's it's a luncher at least. <laughs> this is another luncher I can already tell. Woohoo! Yeah. Hey, look at that. He's hardly hooked. I'm on net action here. Got him. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Not a bad fish. Oh. Nice job over there. Nice chunk. About 17 and a half, 18. So that's a good luncher. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Was, was, was that even net worthy? Well, I like to be flat. There you go. That's there you right. go. What? You can Photoshop and make this much bigger. Yeah, yeah, you can. All right. Well, All right. There's more lunch, guys. There's more lunch. Jeez. Here we go. My brother Steve has one. Not a good one. Yeah, you got you got another little guy there. It's the same one you just dropped. Uh. Well, look at that, Stephen. Well, at least you're going up in size. You know, by quarter inch. Yeah, that's a uh, that's that's a big one. That's something to be proud of, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fish on. Bumping his head a bit. I don't think he's very big. Ooh, that's not terrible. Nice fish there. Guys. Yeah, it's a pretty good fish. That's a nice little luncher right there. Man, these guys are so golden. These are awesome fish. All right, looks like we got enough for lunch in there. All right, let's go to lunch. So guys, Lake of the Woods is one of the best walleye fisheries anywhere in the world. I just read somewhere that there are 5 million catchable walleyes in this lake alone. Catchable means anything that can take a hook, anything over, let's say, 8 inches. 5 million catchable walleyes in this lake alone. So this morning we slayed them as I knew we would. Man, you cannot come up here and not catch a bunch of walleyes. So the best part about fishing up here right now is pitching the boat on this island and cooking an authentic Minnesota shore lunch. So what do we got in there? So we're gonna play those for lunch and then we'll uh, play those and take those home. Yep. So what we do is when we do shore lunch on both days, you eat your saugers and we try to take home the walleye. Oh, that's a good idea. Yep. I like that, all right. Yeah, you make that look so easy. And there we go, filets, there you go. bones, out. And here's the skins, which we'll throw in the garbage. Oh, no, you're not going to feed the pelicans? No. No feeding of the pelicans. Yeah. Uh, DNR considers it littering, I guess, uh -oh. even though you're taking something from the lake and putting it back in right. the lake. Yeah, so fill a landfill with it. That's good thinking, exactly. government. Boy, oh boy. All right, so we got our fillets, and now we're just going to kind of go across these boats here. Watch this happen. One boat, two boat, three boat, all the way to the dock. So it is really blazing hot out here. This whole summer has been roasting here in Minnesota and across the country, but it's probably in the upper 90s, could even be 100 out here. It is just absolutely roasting. And so now that the fish are filleted, we go over here, and this is where we cook our shore lunch. 
All right, so you're setting up the gas grill here, but I see that we've got a fire pit here. Uh -huh. Is it just easier to set up the gas grill it's than the easier. fire? You yeah. got to put out the fire. It's just much yeah, yeah, easier, yeah. yep. So we do that. You guys can make fire if you want, but it's like a thousand degrees, I can't imagine. Well, yeah, I think that uh, the trees around here are just going to spontaneously burst into flame, so I think we're good. <laughs> so we've got our beans. Steve, you're doing a great job there. Now, what's in here? Cookies. Cookies. For after. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Those. Everybody wants to break that's, into This is now. the best part of shore lunch right there here. There you go. All right, so what do you guys make first? The potatoes and the beans? Yep, because the potatoes will take the longest. So we heat up the beans, put them on the table, and then start frying fish. The fish will, won't take long, you know, two minutes of fish pretty much. So like, then you put the fillets in the bag of, of batter, right? Yes. And, and what is the secret batter? That is, I, I won't budge, I won't bend on this. Really? Yep. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah? Um, Neither of you? No. no. It's sawdust, isn't it? Yeah, it's from the driftwood that washes yeah. up on the shore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you do with the potatoes? Do you put bacon or anything in there? Nope, just uh, we caramelize some onions. Once those are caramelized, we add the potatoes and now some seasonings. There it is. All right, so what kind of oil do you guys use here? Canola oil. Canola oil? Just straight canola oil, yeah. Keep Not lard? The, there might be a secret recipe I'm aware about. I don't think there's any lard though. Is there any lard, Zach? No lard. Zero no lard. Because no years ago when we would have shore lunch, they would take this big brick of yep. lard and of lard. just melt it down. And yeah, yeah. A lot of people died after that. All right. So we got the canola oil heating up for the fish fillets over here. The potatoes are looking pretty good. So how long do you wait until that's? If that would have bubbled good. Then you drop them in. All right, so you actually test it with the fish. Oh yeah. And if it bubbles, then it's good. If it's yep. so a lot of times I like to say tear a chunk off one of these. Then you just drop one like that. Not quite full. Okay. But it doesn't take that long to cook the fish. Does nope. It? A minute or two. Like aside. a minute, right? Pretty much how brown you want it. Right. If you don't cook fish, you scare them. There you go. There you go. I like that. All right, so we just let that cook for a couple minutes on each side, and then. That's about all as there is to it, right? Them, really. yep. Just as brown as you want. Fresh fish cooks really fast. All right, I'm going in. Thank you very much. It's wonderful. Awesome. Thank you guys. I need two pieces, please. And that is a Minnesota Shore lunch. Holy crap! It is so hot out here, but man, look at this. This is an authentic Minnesota Shore lunch. Man, let's try some of this walleye here. Oh man. There is nothing better than eating walleye. I was swimming around out there about an hour ago. This is the best, man. I only asked for two fillets, but I'm going back for more. If you're buying walleye in a store or even catching it up here, taking it home, freezing it, making it at home, it's still not going to be as good as a Minnesota Shore Lunch. Man. So this is how to make an authentic Minnesota Shore Lunch. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And until the next fishing adventure, fish the planet and rattle on.